Yo, what's up everybody? Um, I'm gonna make this video not too, too, too long. I'm gonna get to the point and go ahead and move forward because I gotta get ready for work. I wanna take a nap and I wanna stuff my face before I leave out the house. So anyway, of course, this video is about Caitlyn Jenner, formerly known as Bruce Jenner, who I truly commend on her bravery and transition. Um, I would say from the Christian aspect, but what does that even mean? Um, I'm not so much impressed with her or him becoming a woman, but just the courage to do what he feels like he needs to do to be comfortable. Because he's 65 years old, he's done what most people would never do or have the courage to do because most people are afraid of what what other people will say. You know what I'm saying? And um, to be honest with you, from what I've seen thus far, maybe because it's not that brand, brand, brand new, but I've seen a lot of positivity you know people uh with um chris jenner saying that he looks or she looks better than his ex-wives and things like that but he's 65 years old he's done been married he's achieved tremendous success as an athlete you know in his younger years he's taking care of his kids even though a few are out of control but he's done what he needed to do he's older he, i mean if you're gonna do something like that how much how much longer you gonna wait right but um it's just as simple. First of all, um, there's a difference between hate and an opinion. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. And um, what a lot of people, even going back to um, to the comments I still receive, um, even though it ain't that long ago I made the video about Tina, that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I didn't go on her Instagram and her Twitter and say, this album sucks, or you should have changed this song, or you should have sung about that. You know, that's a little bit too much. But I use my platform to say what I wanted to say because this is what I do. You understand what I'm saying? That's just like, and I didn't make this point before. I didn't get it all the way out because I was ramb rambling on. But if I go to your Facebook and your Instagram, and I know how some of you guys, you be ready to block somebody as soon as somebody say something that you don't agree with. You know what I'm saying? So how dare you do the same thing you don't like people to do to you? Go on your platform, tell them you, they're going to hell and, you know, compare them and say all type of awful things. Came to be a Christian or, you know, do exactly what you feel like the person is doing to somebody else. As far as I remember, two wrongs don't make a right. You get what I'm saying? But live your life, do what you feel like you need to do. And it's just that simple. I'm a very simple person. It doesn't take a lot to please me. Feed me. That's probably only the main requirement um, it's going to take for me to, to get married. If she know how to cook, that's about 9 out of 10 right there. Um, I mean, what else can you say? That it's, I don't have to wake up to her face every day. You know, I don't have to befriend her. I don't have to be seen with her out in public. You know, referring to Kate, Caitlyn Jenner. So, I mean, I don't really feel no bad way. It ain't no Christian way to feel about it. I mean, oh, and this last point, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, the Bible says, judge not that you be not judged. Judging and condemning, I feel like, are two different things. First of all, when you judge something or someone, to me, if if we wanted to put it a certain type of way, I would say it like this. Um, every day, like, if you're driving and you see a pothole or, or a cone or a red light, you're judging the situation. That means stop. That means go to the left or go to the right or slow down. You understand what I'm saying? You're judging a situation because, you know what I'm saying? It's just like if it's raining and you're driving, you're not going to drive as though it's 90 out and, you know, sunny weather, there's no rain on the road. You're judging the situation because obviously you can't drive. You have to drive according to the situation. You know what I'm saying? No situation are, no two situations are the same, so to speak. So with that being said, I mean... Don't be trying to pull out the Bible on people because you're living right now. You're living right, right now because you don't do those things you used to do no more. Everybody has a beginning, middle, and end. And I've realized that just being a Christian, you never know what the ending of the story is going to be. You're not God. God is God alone. He don't need your help. And I've realized you have to plant seeds. That's that's our duty as Christians is to plant seeds. It's not if you see a homeless person and you give them money, it's not necessarily your duty to take them in your house, nurture them from A to Z, give them a church home, get them a job. You know what I'm saying? Maybe God just wants you to bless them with some money. Tell them that God, Jesus loves them. You, you know, it's up to God to do the rest of the work. We want to be superhero. We want to take all the credit. We want to do this and that when all that's not even required of us. 
All we got to do is love. That doesn't necessarily mean you even have to accept something, but just love. It may be hard. It may be hard to love, but it is tangible. It is possible. And it's just that simple. So I just wanted to put my two little cents in there. Um, I got some. Um, my music video, Perfect Peace, I will be releasing this Friday, June 5th. So make sure you subscribe. And I want to see your comments. I want to see you share, repost, all those good and wonderful things. I love you guys. Be blessed. Stay all the way driven.